What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Mariners YouTube franchise series with viewer creative players. We are sitting 34 and 29 at the last, at the end of the last episode, we did do the draft. We'll do a quick um, recap of that. We did get Espinoza um, and Spillane, two, two decent players. Um, Samuels get, getting Monte Doss in the four, uh, fifth round was, was pretty solid. Um, I'd say an average draft. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. Um, my draft last season was way worse. Um, so I'll definitely take this for sure. Um, we'll see. We'll see how fast. I mean, Espinosa's 19 is going to take him probably three, three years to get there. But um, so we're sitting 34 and 29. Uh, the lineup's real quick. D Gordon, 312. Um, Adam Eaton doing, he's doing okay for a two hitter, 261. Uh, Dozier is our star, 14, uh, 14 bombs, 40 RBIs. Chapman needs to move from the four hole for freaking certain. So we're going to do this. We're going to do this. Because my God. Same thing here. We're going to move him down. Uh, Beckham 278, Alfaro's also not doing well. Um, uh, Renfro plays against left-handers. He should play against left-handers, so that need, needs to change in right now. Um, Renfro is going to be in for Adam Eaton against lefties. Yes, Eaton's great defense and good speed, but he is, is below average against lefties. So we'll bring in Renfro, even though he's hitting 212. We'll see how he does against uh, left-handers. Uh, Brad Keg, 14 bombs, which is one of the creative players. Homer Peterson is one of the platoons uh, because he hits a lefty as well. And uh, Woodyard, who is my rookie, who was one of my top prospects, just needs some more work. Um, just needs some more work. Um, apparently doesn't like his contract over $300,000. GTFO, dude. Um, so that's not great. Um, our pitching... Carrasco 3.59, Garrett Richards 4.20. Here is my goat right here, Jake Junis, nine and two, 2.38. He was the pitcher of the month in May, I believe. 1.15 ERA. The dude is killing it, being 83. I love it. Uh, he doesn't like his contract, um, or he's not close to home. So that kind of sucks. He would definitely be a lot higher. Uh, Bauer 4.25 and Tehran 4.34. Um, so that is where we're sitting. We are going to go through the rest of the season here and get to the end of the um, get to the end of the regular season. We'll see where we're at. Um, so we are going to roll. We're going to see where we become. Where we become? It's late. I'm sorry. Um, where we end up? Uh, we were about three games out of the playoffs last year, so we will see. I don't expect to make the playoffs this year, but we're doing pretty well. Um, the Mariner. What the fuck, are, what, dude? I swear to God. I swear. I don't understand. Stop trading, dude. Like, it's unreal. It's unreal. Like, this stuff just changes sometimes all by itself, man. All by itself. It drives me up the wall. Up the wall. Um, so let's go. I want to go see that real quick. Trades Michael Levi for a Leonardo. Clearly, clearly just two, um, a two minor league players. So nothing that's going to kill me. None's going to kill me. So we're going to keep going here. Lose two or three to Houston. Take two or three from Cleveland. Lose two or three to Boston. Lose two or three. No. Still going to roll. The Giants are offering me a trade. They want Valero. Valerio, um, a 23-year-old 60 overall C potential, and they want to give me a 30-year-old. Man, you guys are, why, because you want a dumb contract? Get out of here, bruh. All right, so not great. Um, we went from five games to three games, about 500. Um... Four and a half back in the West, and we still are in wildcard position, though. So 
Um, luckily, wild card is super average. I don't expect that to continue, but we'll go from there. Let's keep rolling here. The Phillies want to give us a trade now. They want Carlos Carrasco. I can already tell you, you can go do stuff to yourself. That's not happening. 22-year-old um, B potential, though. That's not horrible. Um, this is the last. He, I mean, he can renew his contract in three years of ARB. So this guy's not terrible. 82 as a 22-year-old. He's the ace of their squad. Um, but they want to dump O'Day's contract on me as well as a 37-year-old who's the last year in his deal. So pretty much I'd be giving up Carrasco, who I just signed to a two-year deal, who's only 33 and can do that too. So no. So no. Um, no. Come on, man. Got to win some games. Got to win some games. Skip. I don't care about that. Nope. Cool. Rangers want to give me James McCann. I'm going to have Woodyard. I don't need McCann. I don't need McCann. Again, another expiring contract. Have no need for him. He wouldn't make my team better, so I'm good. Johnny Cueto, 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 Cudio, Cooties goes from the, uh, from the Braves to the Boston Red Sox. For Zach Davies, Patterson, and Alan Businetz. Okay. All right. So the Red Sox get Johnny. Marlins get Kevin Gaussman. From the Blue Jays for Braxton Garrett and Paul Muriel. All righty. Brewers, Brewers want to trade. They want to take my creative player. Not my creative player, but a creative player. Three years younger, five years better. B potential. He's already 23. I'm going to pass on that. Plus, I really don't want to trade my creative player. Um, all right. Oh, my good Lord. <laughs> they, they, just, they just got Gossman, and now they want to trade him. That's super funny. That's super funny, and they want to take Carrasco. For Corey's expiring contract, who's a 28-year-old, doesn't like his contract. For another expiring contract. If I was out of the race, I might take this deal. If I was out of the race, I might take that deal uh, to shed to shed Carrasco, but I'm good. All right, guys, we have a decent uh, decent month now. 60 and 51. 60 and 51 is where we are sitting. Let's make sure they didn't screw with our lineup at all. Of course they did. Of, of course they messed with our lineup. Good lord, dude, I swear. I swear to you. This is okay. Versus lefties, they mess with us, man. Versus lefties, they mess with it. How about Matt Chapman's a duty? We're going to bring... A Hunter instead. And I want my catcher to platoon, man. I want my catcher to platoon. <clears throat> actually, I'm not going <clears> to. <throat> Alfaro is actually starting to drive some runs, and he's only hitting 222. But, dude, my rookie's just not cutting it right now. He's hitting 212 and 99 at bats and only driven two. I'm going to keep him on the bench for this year. He's happy because he's platooning, I believe. Yeah. Oh, he, he wants to be platooning. He's on the bench, I guess. So he, that's okay. We're all good. We're all good. Pitching rotation. Let's see where we're at. Carrasco's down to a 2.46. He is killing it this past month then. Garrett's still around four. Jake Dunis is right above three. Tehran's down to 3.12. And Bauer's down to 3.8. So our pitching is actually getting us through games right now. <clears throat> our pitching is getting us through games. I love it. I love it. Uh, Brad Keg is leading the league in home runs. Let's go. Let's go. Whoops. Brad Keg there. He's on a cold streak, but he still has 29 bombs. Dozier's right there at 25. Go pitchers. Jake Dunis right there at 11 wins. Bumgarner from the A's starting to take over a little bit. What about ERA? Bumgarner, Manet. 
There's Carrasco, number three. And Jake Junis, number 13. I will take it. I'll take it. Um, standings, we are leading our division, boys. Let's go. Two games up on the Astros. About three, three games up in the wild card. We are leading our division. Let's go, M's. Let's get it. GM gold because we were struggling. Um, win division, win division series. So we got to win our division, boys. That That's what we're looking at. That is our goal for this year so we don't get fired. I really don't want to get fired. That would suck. Uh, well, having a terrible month. Okay, there we go. Okay, four straight, five straight. Okay. All right. All right I think we salvaged that month. I think we salvaged the, uh, the month, boys. After that month, we're a game and a, a game and a half up still. The Astros have lost four straight, so that's good. Um, but we're still right there in the playoffs, man. Right there for the playoffs. The Astros are four. They're two games up. So about full four games up for a wild card right now. I will take it. I will take it. Yeah, Brian Braun's going to miss the whole season. Rip. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. All right, boys. We're 10 games up. This is the end. Let's go a week at a time now. Let's go a week at a time. No. Okay, start out with three losses, then finish with three wins for the week. Let's go through here. Four and two that week. 80 and 62. The September call-ups are here. September Cops are here. We are only a half game up above the Astros. But wild card number two is 74 and 74. So we are five games up right now with two weeks to go. Playoff spot is looking real good. Real good. Let's go, dude. Let's go. And if we do the playoffs, we will most likely save the playoffs for next episode for next episode because <clears throat> that'd be fun because that'd be fun um do we have the astros coming up we have already played the astros for, uh, for the rest so we're not gonna have any games against them <clears throat> we have the one more against the padres the under 500 angels the under 500 um, rangers the yankees that are better than us and the average tampa bay rays who are fighting for a wild card spot so let's finish out the Padres. We lose that game. Three against the Angels. Rut row. Rut row, boys. Now we're a game down, but we're still f five games up in the wild card. We have to avoid absolute disaster here. Three with the Rangers. And here comes the Mariners, boys. Here comes the Mariners, boys. We're three and a half games up, but we have lost a lot. <laughs> Not a good month of September. And swept by the god-awful Texas Rangers. Good Lord. Now we get three against the good Yankees. Lose two of three. Four games to go, and we are clinging. We are clinging. Thank God the rest of the American League is garbage. We are going to have an under 500 wildcard team. That is disgusting. We're going to have an under 500 wildcard team. Holy Lord. And we haven't clinched yet, have we? No. I'm pretty sure our magic number's one, though. I'm pretty sure our magic number's one. There's a win against the Rays. That should clinch us. We did. We have clinched a playoff spot, boys. In year number three, we have figured it out. The Astros do win the West, but we have clinched a, uh, a wild card spot. So we will have a home game in the wild card. We cannot get any better than that. <clears throat> and we get to host the Boston Red Sox and face Chris sale against our ace carlos carrasco carlos carrasco so before we do that there is the bracket 
The winner will play the Minnesota Twins in the division series. Let's go take a peek here, though. Awards. Bryce Harper gets the American League MVP. Carlos Carrasco wins the Cy Young, baby. 16-9, 2.49 ERA, 225 Ks. So we got the Cy Young winner going in our wild card game. Can't really ask for much more, man. Can't ask for much more. Uh, Carp gets the batting title. Kenley gets the reliever. Shed Long gets the rookie of the year. Harper gets Hank Aaron. Gold gloves. Let's see if any Mariners get any. False. Silver slugger. Brad Keg. 41 bombs. Let's go. Dozier gets the second base. A lot of twins out there. A lot of twins. Top prospects. We have the number 13 prospect. At the beginning of this sim, and he has just fallen off. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. So let's go look here. Let's go look at league leaders real quick. Brian Dozier finishes 8th in uh, average. D. Gordon finishes 3rd and hits as our leadoff guy. Eaton and Gordon finish third and fourth in doubles. Brian Dozier at ninth. Good shit. Dozier all four triples. What the fuck? With the 65 speed. Okay. Get it. Home runs. Brad Keg finishes right behind Bryce Harper. Dozier right behind him as well. Second and fourth in home runs. I will take that. Look at the twins. One, two, and four. And 12 RBIs. Jeez. Brad Keg with 92, Dozier with 97. D. Gordon steals 31 bases. I'll take that. Let's go to pitching wins. It is Carlos Carrasco with 16 wins, a Cy Young winner. Um, our ooh, 58 saves. Good God, that's a horrible ERA for for 58 saves. Our closer gets uh, 49 saves. Carrasco finishes right behind Matt Bum for number two in ERA. Home runs allowed. That's, un that's unfortunate to see. Oh, wait. No, no, no. This is the other way. <laughs> Morton, even though he has eight losses out of our pen, he gives up only 17 bombs. All right. Um, strikeouts, he does finish second behind Sale. Dude, look at this. The two top strikeout pitchers in the American League are facing each other in the wild card. Rip, dude. Rip city. Rip. All right, so we are actually – I'm going to quick manage this, this wild card game. This episode has not gone has not gone too long yet. If we win this game, we will save the rest of the playoffs for next episode. If we lose, the next episode will be the off season type stuff. So we are going to we are going to quick manage this game. Play game. We are going to quick manage. I'm not playing it. Here we go, boys. We are putting uh, Carlos Carrasco in. We're facing a lefty. Homer Peterson can hit second. 276 on the year. Dozier, is there anybody that I really want in here? I don't think so. Not versus a lefty. Not versus a lefty. Okay. Um, I'm going to switch this up here. Brad K can hit fourth. Dahl can hit behind him. Okay. Let's go, boys. The wild card game. The first playoff game in the franchise. Let's see how we do here. Double play and we get out of it. It's our turn against Chris Sale and he goes one, two, three. Mancini walks, healer choice, fly out. Carrasco looking good. David Dahl with the first hit of the game goes nowhere. Top of the third. Maldonado singles, Dyson singles behind him. Bases loaded for Trey Mancini, and he K's him up. We get out of it. Let's go. Alfaro walks, Tim Anderson singles. I'm going to bunt with D Gordon. Honor Peterson grounds out. Dozier pops out. Come on. That can't happen. That cannot happen. Damn. Good so far. Strikeout. Dude, this is a pitcher's duel. 
Hunter Renfro with the fifth hit of the game. K's up, flies out, nothing. Ender in Ciarte goes yard off Carrasco, and we are down one nothing. Murphy singles. And Mancini hits a two-run bomb. Well, boys, we need a little bit of luck here against Chris Sale to figure this out. Peterson walks, K's up, Brad Kig grounds into a double play. Maldonado hits the third home run of the game for the Red Sox. Dahl singles, K's up. We need a big inning, boys. Alfaro doubles, there we go. We cut the lead in half. Tim Anderson lines out. It's okay. We cut the lead in half. We at least made it a game. I'm going to go to the pen right now. Carrasco's energy is pretty low. So we're going to go to the pen. I have a lefty righty righty coming up. I mean, it is the playoffs. I could bring in, I could bring in starters. I could bring in starters. My pitchers just did not did not pitch well towards the end of the year. Eight point six eight ERA. Barnes. Maybe I bring in Barnes. Bar. It looks like Barnes is a solid choice here. Let's go Barnes. Ground out, doubles, walks, fly out. Okay. Chris Sale still in. We're gonna have to get to Chris Sale. Brad Keg, my leading, my leading home run guy, has had guys on base twice in his grounded out double plays. I needed it badly. Barnes doubles. Let's do another pitching change. Let's bring in the closer. Ground out. Walked him. Base loaded for Mancini again. Well, boys, that's a grand slam. That is four home runs in four innings and eight runs in four innings for the Red Sox. We are done. They do bring in Will Harris, strikeout, strikeout, line out. The Mariners have been eliminated from the postseason. We could lose our job, boys. We could legitimately lose our job. We made the playoffs, but we did not hit GM goals. As our Cy Young Award winner gets messed up and our bullpen gets messed up as well. And that is going to be it for us this year, boys. We do make the playoffs, but we cannot make it past the Boston Red Sox and Christopher Sale. We are done. We are done. Let's finish out the postseason and see what we get here. Just curious. Boston gets swept. Yankees beat the Astros. Mets sweep the Dodgers. Reds beat the Cardinals in five. Reds are in the World Series awaiting Game 7 of the Yankees and Twins. It is going to be the New York Yankees and the Cincinnati Reds. So there is that. The Reds have swept the New York Yankees and are the 2020 World Series champions. Congrats to the Reds. We cannot make it out of the wild card game. Our pitching rotation, our bullpen is just bad. Next year for draft, we need to focus on bullpen, period. All bullpen. That's brutal how bad our bullpen is. We need to focus hard on that. Uh, unreal. Not good. Not good. Well, guys, we have some work to do. We have some work to do come next year. Carrasco's still here. Garrett Richards is still here. Jake Junis is still here. We have our entire rotation except for Trevor Bauer. 
who is probably going to go high fours the entire time. He doesn't like his contract, so he's just getting worse. He's not, he, he's not happy. We're probably going to let Bauer go, but we will um, focus on all that next episode. We have some young guys that I hope continue to get better. Uh, Peterson, Woodyard, we have Jimenez coming up. We have Kenny Roche coming up too. So uh, we have options. We have options. We just got to keep him better. We have to hope we don't get fired though. We have to hope we don't get fired. We will focus on that next episode, guys. Cross our fingers. Pray. Pray we don't get fired. Please. Please. Don't fire me. Don't fire me. That's going to ruin a lot of shit. Don't fire me. Guys, I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like. Please hit that subscribe. Please let me know what you think about the videos. MLB The Show 19 is coming up, boys. Be on the lookout for a sign-up page if you want to be in my 19 franchise with these creative players as well. Guys, I appreciate you. I love you. We will see you on the next episode. Take it easy.